Welcome back, track and field Special Olympics athletes. Here we are for another practice. Today's practice is going to focus on the javelin. Please make sure that you have reviewed the safety guidelines, that you've gone for your walk, you've done your dynamic stretch. We're going to do some lead up um, dynamic warm up activities that are designed for javelin, and then we're going to get into getting ready to throw the javelin. So let's start with some skipping. So we're just going to do nice, light, easy skipping. I'm going to use my driveway and I'm just going to skip down my driveway. down and swim backwards coming back. Now we're going to work on some side stepping getting ready to throw the javelin. So, side step. You want to make sure that your feet stay, that your body stays above your feet so you don't go over on your ankles. And just move slowly. You don't have to go quickly here. So just slide together, slide together, slide together. as I go. Last one is probably the more complicated if you're finding it difficult, just go back and do the crossover step with the arm swing again. So we've done this before in practice. We take a step and we step over. So now my legs are crossed. Back leg comes out, step over. The trick here is to keep my body facing this way, not to turn. Step over, step, 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 step over, step. We go back the other way. Step over, step over. Step over, 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 step over. Now, if you are feeling comfortable, you can add a skip to this and start using your arms. Use your arms naturally. 
however makes you feel balanced. So if we're gonna add a bit of a skip to this, it would go step, Getting ready for javelin. Everybody, I'm heading over to grab a drink. You grab a drink too. It's funny to think that just like every year, even as we film these practices, Brad and I started off wearing coats and extra layers. And now we're down end of June, down to shorts and t-shirts. Spring is always a funny season in Canada. So I am sure that most of you do not have javelins at home. You can use a football. I have mini pool noodles, but if you had a long pool noodle, you could use a pool noodle. This is a tennis ball inside of a nylon. You could use a sock, a nylon, anything like that. So any one of these things would work um, to practice with a javelin. If you don't have any of those things, grab two or three pairs of socks and stuff them in one sock. So you have something like a ball, a weighted section, and then you have a bit of a tail. Because what we want to work on now is having the implement, which is usually the javelin, fly through the air. And if it has a tail on it, you can get an idea of where it's going to go. I'm going to be using this, but you could use any of these things. Okay, so we're going to start with some lead ups to javelin. Most important thing to think about with javelin is that your elbow has to be high. If it's down here, it's hard to get nice distance. So elbow nice and high. All you're going to do, one hand, and you're just going to use your wrist, bring it back, and then you're going to release. And that's it. This is all we're going to do to start. I'm trying to get a nice high throw. Nice and high. I'm aiming up to the tops of the trees and release. Not trying to throw as far as I can. I'm just working on technique. High elbow, arm, hand back, release. Now you have a lot of strength in your other hand. So let's use it as well. Other hand up. We're just gonna point where we want this to go. And we're gonna release. Try one more time with that other hand. as to how it's flying and I'm not throwing as far as I can because I don't have enough space and it wouldn't be safe so I am throwing into a set of trees there's no houses no windows I'm not throwing into the street you want to be really safe about where you're throwing so most of us don't throw this way so now you're gonna turn if this is my throwing arm my throwing arm is back I'm gonna point where I want my release to be, and I'm going to bring my arm back, my elbow nice and high, point my arm where it wants to be, and as I throw, I'm gonna twist with my feet. We're just gonna try that three times, okay? So we're just gonna twist and release. Again, 
sideways, pointing where I want it to go. Elbow nice and high. Twist and release. Nice high release. One more time. Where do I want it to go? Elbows high, hand back. You'll stand and throw and you'll get a really good throw. But you can also add, similar to the shot put, to give yourself a bit of momentum, you can slide into the throw. So you start at the line, which is gonna be the edge of the grass for me. I'm gonna slide three steps. One, two, three. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna slide, turn and throw same as we've been doing. So I want to get in position with my elbow high and my arm up. I want to get low. One, two, three. In javelin, you can't step on the line. So make sure that your steps are far enough away that you're not going to come too close to the line. Arm up, elbow up, hand back, slide three steps. One, two, three. Try that one more time. Three steps away, arm up, elbow high. noticed some javelin throwers have an extra run up so they do a few steps before switch to sidestepping and then release it's a lot to coordinate but it does help build momentum into the throw so I stand facing where I'm going elbow up one two three one two three release slowly but when you put it all together and you're releasing the javelin quickly that's what gets it moving a little bit further out but because we don't have a lot of space we have to keep things under control so we'll try this a couple more times elbow high arm back one two three one two three and release and notice my other hand comes up to meet. Okay, last one. And I'm not using a ton of space here. Three steps, three steps forward, three slides, and a release. You could do, I could use my whole driveway but that wouldn't be a safe release place. I want to head it nice and easy. So, elbow up, hand back, one, two, three, one, two, three, and release. Okay, athletes, though, though all those drills you can practice them over and over again, and that will get you more and more ready to work through throwing the javelin when we're back together again. Everybody, make sure you do the cool down and the nice um, relaxing stretch. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you next Tuesday. I say one, two, three, you say team. One, two, three, team.